Reality check, reality check, check, check in, man, check in. <laughs> All right, people. Well, today I want to take a look, you know, into the health and wellness ministry. And we know who is the head of that. One Christopher Tufton. Anyway, I work me there, pan. You can't see me on and where, where, you see. I work me there, pan. But me have to jump off and do that video, yeah. Because that video, yeah, is an urgent video. It's a serious matter what it take place in our country. So we know that the health and wellness ministry is under audit for the past two years. Saying, now the audit, they drawing upon them, they zoom in upon them. So they give a report. And there was an article in the Gleaner that a good friend of mine sent to me. My source, a brother to me from another mother. Send me the source. And so if you look on the topic here, and right away may have to jump on it because it's an urgent topic. You see what I mean? Alright, this is what this is what it says. Auditor General AG Pamela Morris Ellis and team conclude that the health and wellness ministry is lacking transparency in its payment, which total to 293 million for quarantine facilities. 293 million for quarantine facility. The Health and Wellness Ministry is found not transparent. It did not stop there. It, go, it goes on. And was unable to show a formal infrastructural work. See, was unable to show formal contract for infrastructural work. Mounting to 124 million. Look on this word, formal. F-O-R-M-A-L Contracts C-O-N-T-R-A-C-T-S Contracts See? Can we go, go back over that? Also See? Also Not confirming Oh 174 million Transfer to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. Also could not confirm or 174 million transfer to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. Let us talk now. The Health and Wellness Ministry it's a different ministry from the Ministry of Local Government. Why would you put money in the Health and Wellness Ministry and then transfer it to the local government? Where we reason, no man. Where we talk, man. Where we have a con where we have a civil conversation on that topic, yeah, man. We not fuss and we not fight. Me a Jamaican. Me no labor right, me no PMP, me a Jamaican. Let us have a conversation. Let us talk. Let us talk. Let us talk, man. 174 million transfer to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. Why would you want to put money in the ministry, in the health and wellness ministry, and then transfer it to the minister of local government, knowing that this is two different ministries. The ministry of health and wellness deal with the hospital, so you deal with the nurses, the doctors, the health aid, you know, you deal with, 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 with the patients. You cater for the Jamaican sick as well. 
Now the local government, you know, so them deal with roads and development and infrastructure in Jamaica. So it's two different ministries. So why are we merging these two ministries together? Something is not right. Something is not right. This is heights of corruption coming from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Heights of corruption. Formal. Now let us talk about a formal contract. Seen and what is a formal contract? A formal contract is a contract where the parties have signed under a seal agreement. A formal contract is where the parties have signed under a seal agreement. Now we know what is a seal. The quota form is a seal. So when you go to certain government institution and they give you that stamp, you understand? You also can a seal with your signature. But you have to have something written. Because now this is government contract. 400 million. This is taxpayers' money. So we sign the contract and we give you the work. So if you don't do the work, the government can come in and sue you. Because you call the seal contract, you, that's the receipt. That's the receipt. Don't play around. But what they did here, while on the other hand, an informal contract is one not signed under lease. See, while an informal contract is one not signed under seal. So that's a word I'm out. Yo, brother, why you can do some work up on my yard next week, you know? Think me have a two week work up there for you. Yeah, man, everything good, man. Me check you next week. Next week I didn't show. But you can't come ask me nothing. Me not owe you nothing, boss. Me and you never sign on contract. That a word I'm out. Me tell you, say, me I come, me not come. You can't carry that a quote. You, know? you cannot carry a word I'm out into the court of law. You go get, your, your, your case go get thrown out. So that's what they do with the government. 400 million dollars. So, I, so in this case, you know, this is what the Auditor General have a problem with. Thin 14 of the 15 hotels and supplier for infrastructural work. 400 million with 14 of the 15 hotels and supplier for infrastructural work without no formal contract no formal contract how can you be so careless no regard for the Jamaican taxpayers you take 400 million and throw it away on an informal contract a contract that you use word of mouth to deal with. So now the AG come in and everybody, there is no track. You can't track nothing because there is nothing there. There is nothing written. There is nothing on black and white to follow the trace, to go here and go there. That's why you transfer the, 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 the 174 million from the Health and Wellness Ministry to the Ministry of Local Government to Desmond Mackenzie. There is no trace. There is no trace. You understand? Knowing that, you know, this pandemic was one of the worst things my country has ever witnessed in the history of Jamaica. 
When people watching them TV and them see people overseas dropping and dead in like a fly. Hospital full, mag full. Them have to carry in mid-shift mag. Trailer just a pack up body. Knowing that that is a first world. And our small Jamaica is a third world. Just imagine how scared, how panic the people of Jamaica was. And during that time, they said, go on the yard, turn on the yard. Quarantine, then can't come out and take into consideration. A lot of these people are not well off. A lot of these people live among the, the poverty wages. A lot of them don't have fridge. They don't have TV. They don't have cable. They don't have internet. They don't have food. You give them 10,000 months at one time. And I think that's it. Some care package. And it's not everybody. It's some people get it. They say if you want to know if someone is really care for you, you know, and really have your back, wait until your back is against the wall. Wait until you are desperate, you, are in, you find yourself in one of the worst situations you have ever been in. And you will know your true friend. And the Jamaica people at that time were at their worst. Panic. Don't know what is going on. Scared out of their boots. Some of them now have food. A lot of them now have TV, cable. And that's the way your administration treat the people of Jamaica. By taking 400 million away from them. Left them out if they're dead. Your administration take away 400 million from the Jamaican people. Enriching themselves. That's why them can't in a party they drink champagne and they bust up champagne and drink and feel nice over the place because of 400 million they when they circulate through the JLP. The 400 million they when they circulate right through the JLP administration. That's why, that's the reason why you guys transfer 174 million Transfer 174 million to the Ministry of Local Government. And we know who is the head of that. The one Desmond Mackenzie. Mr. Tufton need to go. Christopher Tufton need to go. Why you still have Mr. Tufton at the head of the Health and Wellness Ministry? He's a disgrace. To Jamaica. Is a disgrace. To the health and wellness ministry. Mr. Prime Minister. When you was running. You are running on prosperity. Decency. Integrity. Law and order. Mr. Prime Minister, when you was running, it was on prosperity, decency, integrity, law and order. Where is all of those? Everything disappear. Why? You are so soft on Mr. Tufton. Why is Mr. Tufton still at the head of the health and wellness ministry? Why is he? Why you are so calm? This is the, the standard of the Labour Party administration. 
somebody thief over here and you put them over here so you demote them put them over here so they go thief more for instance like Bobby Montague over 100 million missing if you bring in police car in the country about four years now and now no car can come in and the hundred and odd million can return back to the Jamaican taxpayer but yet still He's in a different ministry. He's in a different ministry. Eh? The Auditor General found right that the Ministry of Health and Wellness was unable to show a formal contract for infrastructural work mounting up to 120 million. How can you take up 124 million and just use an informal contract word of mouth? Say, more you carry that down there, more you set up that down there, and more you set up that down there. That's how you guys. That's how you guys are. That's how you guys kill us with the taxpayers of Jamaica money. Eh? Come on, man. But we reason, people. But we reason. And that's why I tell a man, say, you know. If you elevate yourself. Or if you emancipate yourself. From illiteracy dog. I want to educate himself. To emancipate yourself from poverty dog. You have to educate yourself. Education dog bring awareness. Awareness create enlightenment bro. And when you are enlightened. No boy can't contact to me certain way. I run we run with that. You have to back up and know how you come talk to it. Can you come with your little article, your little article itself? Speak English fluent. Can't go up on a platform and give a decent speech. So when you're gone, everybody look up to you like the messiah and say, Oh my God, he's so fluent, he's so articulate. Because most of the youth them in the ghetto, them now go and get it when you come round and talk to them then we there. And for soon they walk around Jamaica now, like you know the biggest thing. With all of these scandal upon scandals. Not transparency, corruption. Corruption. Also, the Auditor General also could not confirm oh, 174 million transfer to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. And as I said before, remember, it's two different ministries. So why would you put money in a health and wellness ministry and then you're transferring it to the local government ministry, knowing that it's two different ministries? Let we reason, brother. Let we look into them things. Let us stop just look on the surface. And if it's even a one eight, just break it, the surface and see beyond. And see beyond the surface. Heights of corruption, brother. Heights of corruption. Corruption to the core. And to see people sit down in a room. I met them people that they come talk to them. Wanna have no regard 
for them. Don't care about them. Not even one second. In the eyes of the pandemic. When you guys were suffering. You guys were at your worst. These guys were over here. Fattening their pocket. 400 million. Of Jamaican taxpayers. Money. That's why we see them in a hotel. Big party and the bus champagne. Meanwhile. Low income. People. In a den yard. Tana on a yard. Turn on a yard. Like you almighty God. Brother. Christopher Tufton need to go. I also have another topic. It's coming soon. Pertaining to the children. Or the kids them that die. And the, the minister said. He was not aware. Of the situation that was taking place from July, and he was and he wasn't aware of the situation until the end of August. But we know that was a lie. But that's another topic. Much love and stay tuned to the revolutionists and aromatic realistic TV. I said over here. I only speak truth to life. And if you cannot angle it, whenever you see my content, just throw along. Just throw along when you see my content, if you cannot angle it. Because as I said, nothing but the truth over here. And we now compromise. Much love. I'm out.